Hi there guys, today I'm going to be talking about what I believe to be the best free solo climb in Wales. We're in the beautiful area of Lamberis Snowdonia, completing something called the Idwell Triple and I couldn't recommend it enough. Before we start, it's important to mention free soloing is highly dangerous. Please take the time to read. This is Cat Adventures. If you like my content and you want to support me in sharing with others the amazing adventures of the mountain, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell and give us a thumbs up. So here we are starting our adventure walking around the beautiful Lynn Idwell. What I love most about climbing here is it's such an easy and gentle walk in. I can't lie, I'm not really a fan of an approach, especially one that walks uphill. And that's another reason why I would rate this one of the best free solos in Wales. And just to add to the joy, I bumped into this guy who actually recognised me off my YouTube channel. This is Steve and he's just said hello and recognised us from Cad Adventures. Yeah, and he's just been scoping out up here an awesome little wild camp that he's told, told us about. So I wish you the best of luck, Steve. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for saying hi. It's totally made my day. <laughs> so those moments are just so special because actually it's like-minded people um, that have that same passion. So when a moment like that happens, it's like, it is actually really special. Rushing in your water today, Dragan. So this is us getting ready to climb up the North West Face route. And poor Dragon getting caught on camera, giving me a cheeky hug. About to go up the northwest face of um, Idwell um, to join the Idwell Triple. And this is a grade two plus climb and it is absolutely beautiful. In good weather, the rock is extra grippy, it's highly exposed and an exhilarating start and warm up for what's to come. me pointing out some of those iconic quartz bands ready to go over the top. And as you can see the views are absolutely stunning. Here's us getting to the peak of the north west face route. Enjoyable, yeah? What would you give out of 10? to Idwell Triple. So we follow the path left here and then we start to climb what becomes now a diff climb. It's all starting to look a lot more vertical now and when it comes to hand grips they're also a little more grippy. But nonetheless throughout the rock is incredibly grippy and it makes for an absolutely superb First, throughout this climb, there's one or two little boulder problems that just adds that extra little bit of challenge and interest. This was one of my favourites. And here's another little boulder problem here that we really enjoyed. The view is breathtaking the higher you get. Here's our route going up and over to the peak of the second part of our climb. And here we are, we've made it to the peak of um, Idwell Triple. That was an absolutely awesome, oh, look at them, an awesome scramble. It was a diff, so it's technically their first free solo, I guess, because you can climb it. And we are about to go over to the very exciting, it's in the top 50, it's the Canifian Arete, and it is this one right here right to the peak cannot wait We're gonna... i'm so excited about this climb there's a few people on it which is a bit of a worry but the visibility is so good today you can even see the sea and this beautiful face <laughs> pretty pumped i'm pretty pumped about coming back on here taking my son on here because i did this in the winter once um yeah i'm really excited to take josh on here too <laughs> 
that dragon exists, yeah, bless his little heart. But before we start this last spectacular climb, it's time to just fill up with our water. And here we are at the base of our last climb at Canifian Arete. It was an incredibly daunting start because we had other people who were climbing this mountain with ropes. And naturally, that is going to make you consider your own sanity and the fact that you're going to go and free solo something like this. But in terms of our climbing ability and experience, together with excellent conditions today, we chose an exhilarating free solo route right up to the peak. Here. and probably scariest of the whole climb. A little nifty step over and taking our time on this rock was crucial. And what is so spectacular about Canifian Arete is that it is a ridge climb and you can climb right on that edge with a sheer drop on either side. And what's so spectacular about this climb is the atmosphere and the rock features. The prominent sharp spikes of the rock as you're climbing just adds to the atmosphere of the climb. The whole way up you are literally on a knife edge. And then you see these views and you remember you're in heaven. Not that it happens very often, but here's me climbing part of this route. It almost looks like we're in a different country with the sun beaming down. And this angle gives a really good perspective of those rock formations I was talking about. And here we are, sad to have finally reached the peak. It's a climb you can only hope would go on all day. Right, okay, come on then, recap. What do you, what do you rate it? What do you rate it out of 10? Can you okay, it? Million. <laughs> 500,000. That's better than any other route I've ever done. That's the best route I've ever done. It was, and the fact that we free solo it as well. So here we are chilling and celebrating our huge accomplishment for the day. So these guys are absolutely pumped. Um, they've had such a good uh, weekend, which I'm super chuffed about. But we have had an amazing weekend of weather and we've done some absolutely spectacular climbs. So, um, yeah, just a 10 out of 10. Another thing I absolutely love about this entire route is that it is an absolutely beautiful and enjoyable descent. You've got a path to follow the whole way down and it's relatively gentle in comparison to many of the other climbs that you'll do in this area. We'll wait for Drake because his knees are bad, he's getting old you see. But we're about to go to have a swim in this lovely lake. Um, and it's been an amazing day, I think that will be a great way to top it off. Here's a hilarious little shot of Josh and his new walk. Having been refreshed by the water, this just led us to a beautifully chilled, relaxed walk back to the car. And so, shining a light on what I believe to be the best free solo climb in Wales, I would say that it would most definitely be the Idwall Triple. It provides a spectacularly beautiful and yet gentle walk-in with outstanding quality rock throughout. The continued exposure offers a level of exhilaration that I don't think you'll find anywhere else.
Dawson snow day. And that together with the fact that it is a grade three to diff climb provides a real quality level of rock climbing skill that's required to complete these routes. While you don't have to be an expert climber, a route like this gives you access to climbing moves on real rock that you are able to perform free solo. And the freedom of that experience on the mountain is second to none. Thanks for watching.